guys, CJR here with another pickups video. A um, couple cool things to show off and a couple shout outs to make and I'm going to show you guys one big pickup that I made a couple weeks ago that I mentioned that uh, I'll, I'll show you guys quickly today. So first up I have to thank a YouTube uh, slash Facebook friend. Um, I mentioned in my Wii video that I didn't have a certain game and um, they were nice enough to send me a copy. Um, so I got to thank Jake for sending me Donkey Kong Country Returns. He sent me a sealed, a brand new sealed copy. Um, I guess he had a spare and uh, he was nice enough just to give it to me. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I've been playing, uh, I played a couple hours of that with Andrew and it's, uh, I'm really enjoying it. T very challenging game, but uh, fantastic. Um, let's see, up next, uh, let me see, Watch Dogs. Still sealed, I haven't had a chance to get to this yet. Um, I think I lost a lot of my excitement for this just because of so, so many delays. So, um, it's not something that I received in the mail and I was like, I had to throw it in right away. So it still hasn't been played. Um, part of the reason is because of this, uh, Mario Kart 8. Absolutely loving this. I did a, uh, Let's Play. Uh, feel free to go check that out. For the most part, you guys seem to like the Let's Play. I think the audio video worked out really well. Um, Let's Plays are tough because... You know, I you don't just want to sit there and play a game. You should always be saying something, or you know, you, I, I mentioned in the video that I might use some of them just as like um, kind of an update video to talk about stuff that's happened in the game room or stuff I've picked up, and uh, not always specifically about the game, especially like in a game like this where there's no storyline. So um, I think I think that format will work. I think I need to be a little more energetic. Um, as you guys know, I'm pretty pretty laid back, so you're not going to hear me come on and, and sound like I just chugged three Red Bulls, which a lot of people sound like. Uh, they're way over the top, and that's just not me, as you guys know. So um, stay tuned for more Let's Plays. Um, I think I got everything okay with the audio video. It, it seemed to look, to look pretty good. Um, of course, Nintendo wouldn't let me monetize it, and they monetize it for themselves, but whatever, as long as I can keep the video up and I didn't get in any trouble, thank God. So yeah, Mario Kart 8, fantastic. Um, I should mention, I picked that up, pre-ordered this last summer. I always mention it during that Future Shop um, E3 special that they have where you can pre-order any... They have a select list, but it's like 100 games um, of games that are released, about or big games of E3 kind of thing. And uh, you can pre-order them for 33% off. So this ended up being $39.99 plus tax, which is fantastic because they've raised prices in Canada. So... They still have to honor that price, which is awesome. So instead of paying 64, I paid 39, which that's fantastic. So um, hopefully they have that deal again this year. I think I pre-ordered like 40 or 50 games last year. Uh, okay, so the CGCC swap meet was last weekend or yesterday in uh, in Cambridge. Um, so I went and checked that out. Uh, pretty good turnout, not nearly as big as the VGCC. Uh, VGCC is still the biggest in uh, probably Ontario to be honest, it's huge. So these are my pickups. I was able to pick up two Dreamcast games that I didn't have and um, I was able to actually get them for two bucks a piece. I know it's a sports title. Um, I'm surprised I didn't have that. I think I have Test Drive, Le Mans and, and another Test Drive Off-Road or something. Two bucks each, very happy. Two more games for my Dreamcast collection. Um, if I were to order even that on eBay, it's going to cost me five. So... Um, also picked up, I actually didn't pick up a whole lot of stuff, I'm pretty, I was looking for a uh, Jaguar. I really want a Jaguar, ever going, ever since going to the Midwest Gaming Classic and actually trying a Jaguar, um, I really want one. I would like, yeah, I'd like to find like a bundle with some games, but it's something I, I need to get on and <coughs> check off my list. I wasn't able to find one, so I actually made more money than I spent at this swap. I flipped a couple things, so uh, one of the other things I picked up was Heroes of Ruin. For the 3DS, kind of like a Diablo game. I've been looking for this cheap and I got it for 10 bucks. So the price is right. And the coolest thing I got, um, Andrew's Game Display. He's got a channel here on YouTube. I should leave a link in the below. In I should leave a link below, sorry. Um, his game room, he's got a better collection than I do, to be honest. Um, you know, I got a he's got a lot of filler too, but he's got a lot of rare, really rare stuff. Um, you gotta go check out his channel. I'll leave a link below. Anyways, he d he found one of these at a previous swap, and I thought it was really cool. So, and actually, I saw him there, and I, I said, you know, I see one of these over here. Is it a good deal? He said, yeah, go ahead and buy it. 
Um, it's boxed and complete, and it's a super. Uh, <laughs> I'm really struggling today. A super. I, I'm starting to think this bump on the head. I don't know if you guys can see that. I, I posted on my Facebook, but the other day I passed out and um, head butted the granite in my bathroom and split my head open. I, I still still have no idea really what happened. I think my blood sugar. My blood sugar dropped or my heart rate dropped too low. I'm going actually today to do some tests to figure it out, but um, it's kind of slowed me down a little bit. I got a couple stitches there, so really, really strange. Um, but I'm having trouble talking today. It's starting to worry me a little bit. Um, so anyway, super, super shooting watch. Um, basically, uh, you can use it as a stopwatch, but the, the main function of this is to track how fast you can tap the button. So for shmups and stuff like that, uh, very Japanese item. You can see it's from Japan. Um, I just thought it was so cool. And uh, just a really cool thing to put on the shelf. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it saves your high scores and stuff like that. Like how many times you can do it in uh, 10 seconds, 5 seconds. I, I really got to go through and, and try it out. But it says there's um, 2 or 3 different games. So very cool. Mint condition. Really, really cool piece. Uh, I paid 20 bucks. The guy wouldn't go down at all. And I thought that was fair considering the condition. And then finally I picked up a copy. I have to thank another YouTube Facebook friend, Jen, for um, giving me a great deal on Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Um, it's the only Layton game I didn't have on the uh, DS. It's getting tougher to find, so um, <coughs> uh, very grateful that she uh, gave me this for a fantastic price, so thank you, Jen, very much. I also have to give a huge shout out to the guys at uh, Good Time Games here in Kitchener. Um, basically, I'm getting absolutely sick of dealing with people on Kijiji. My area is a nightmare. Um, full of resellers, full of sharks, um, full of kids that will offer you a tenth of what you're asking. Um, as I said, I, I let things go pretty pretty cheap compared to what they go for here just so I can move them quick but it's uh, really turning into an annoying process so um, I actually got a good tip from my friend Andrew that uh, well I had been into the store a couple times before it's uh, anyways it's called Good Time Games it's in uh, Waterloo Ontario uh, right up by the university it's absolutely fantastic uh, store and um, I've been taking everything I find to him and uh, trading everything in there he gives me fantastic value um, I, I couldn't be happier with uh, the way I've, I've been treated there so uh, if you ever get a chance go check out Good Time Games in Waterloo, Ontario and uh, the staff there is fantastic very knowledgeable and uh, friendly and very professional um, they really really treat me well so um, I'm very happy about that partnership basically I just bundle everything up and uh take it into him every week instead of having to post it on Kijiji so um anyways guys that's it for today like well not quite it I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna show you guys my bike I mentioned it uh, uh a couple weeks ago that I picked up a new bike so I thought I'd just quickly show you guys but uh as always like comment subscribe um check out the Facebook page below I'll leave a link and um what else add me on uh on PlayStation Xbox and Wii U at uh CJR Steam too, if you want to add me on Steam, CJR for everything. Um, always nice. I'm getting more friends on Wii U, which is fantastic with uh, Mario Kart coming out. So if you, uh, you know, you want to play against me on some Mario Kart, um, yeah, feel free to add me. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned for next week's, or this Saturday's pickup or uh, garage sale video. Um, I found one of the best scores I've ever found, probably my third best score, and that's saying a lot. But uh, it may have been the best week yet, so uh, stay tuned for that, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Later. So I mentioned the uh, bike that I picked up in an earlier pickup video, but I totally forgot to show it. Um, I picked up a specialized raw copper comp edition. Um, yeah, it was kind of like a birthday gift to myself. Usually every summer I kind of buy myself something that I've been kind of uh, wanting for a while. And then a lot of my proceeds from garage sailing actually go towards that. So, um, yeah, it's a nice bike. I uh, It's my first bike in probably 15 years that I've purchased. So, it's uh, it's actually been taking a little while to get used to it. I had that broken wrist, so my wrist is still kind of weak. So, it's a little bit tough to control. And I'm still a little bit nervous about the wrist. But, um, yeah, it's uh, the 29-inch wheels. 
um, are kind of a new thing in recent year. Well, since I've bought a bike, um, makes it a lot easier getting up hills and stuff. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm still. I almost have to reteach myself how to ride a bike. I, I can't. I used to ride with no hands and do all that stuff pretty easily, and I, I can't do it right now. Um, yeah, but that's that's the bike. Um, kind of a gray, black, blue. Really like the wheels. It's got shocks. Uh, I'm not a huge bike guy, so I can't tell you all the components and stuff, but that is my new bike.